This is CSIA's Digital Marketing for System Integrators. Did you know that a lot of your Google Analytics data is actually wrong? That a lot of your referring traffic coming from other sources might actually be calculated or recorded as direct traffic? Take a look at this blog article. Google Analytics shows most referrers as direct. What are some better tools? So I'm going to provide a link to this. You should read this post and this thread here. There's another post here, and actually there are probably dozens, if not hundreds, of articles of SEO experts that have identified that Google Analytics is not properly capturing direct, organic, and referral traffic. Here's another article that talks about up to 60% an experiment was performed here, 60% of direct traffic is actually organic search. Now, if you're putting a lot of resources into paid advertising, maybe you have an exchange profile, maybe you have Google AdWords, this data is not very helpful if you are not capturing it properly, if you're not forcing Google to record it properly. If you leave Google to its own devices, you will continue to have problems here and you will appear to have more direct traffic than referral traffic, or your referral traffic will be incorrectly recorded. But I've got a really great tool here that will show you how to remedy this problem. It's called UTM Parameter Codes. It's free, just takes a little bit of effort, and it will really help you clean up your data in the long term and show you where traffic is really coming from in your Google Analytics account. Let's take a look. Okay, so I'm on a case study of one of our system integrators. They've posted a case study. In fact, there's another video about how to post content here and get leads. So check the upper right corner of the video right now for a link to that video. So here's the case study. And understand that if I hover over any one of these links, if you look down in the lower left-hand corner, you'll see where the link is pointing to. And so this is the situation where you are linking directly to your own website from another source like the Exchange or LinkedIn or your blog or somewhere like that. Now, if I click on one of these links, there's a high probability, given the articles I've just shown you, that links that I click on here might be recorded as direct traffic versus referral traffic. It should be recorded as referral traffic because I'm coming from another referring site. That's a problem. So how do we ensure that links that I place in other places are actually recorded as referral traffic? Anytime I post a link on Facebook, on my blog, in Google AdWords, or any place not on my own site, I should be using UTM parameter code. All you have to do is go to Google and search for UTM UR Builder Code or something like that. You'll get several sites and there are free sites that do this. Doesn't matter who you use because they'll basically be all the same. So what you want to do is create a URL that knows that it's on Facebook and another URL that knows that it's on the LinkedIn page and another URL that knows that it's on the exchange profile. You should have a unique URL for every time you post something in a different location. Now, from this point forward, I'm going to pretend that I am the marketing manager for one of our members so that I can illustrate that this is how you would do it. The first thing I want to do is go to the piece of content that I want to share, which is probably a PDF or a blog article or a video or something like that hosted on my website. Then I want to grab the URL, so copy paste it. So in this case, I'm going to use Affinity Energy, one of our system integrator members, and I've gone to their blog, chosen a blog article, and I'm going to copy paste the URL of one of their blog articles. Then I'm going to go over to the Google Analytics URL UTM builder here. This is going to help me create some special code. Paste in the URL. And then what I can do is fill out some of this information. You should fill out at least these top three, and these are optional. So a campaign source is a refer like Facebook or newsletter. So I'm going to paste this content to the exchange. 
and the campaign medium like cost per click or AdWords or banner or email, then I'm just gonna say directory. So if I look down here, now it's actually created a special URL that has some code in here. This code is going to communicate with your Google Analytics account. So once I have this complete, I can click on this to select, I'm going to control C to copy it, and I'm gonna go up to the exchange because that's where I'm posting this now. I paste in my link. Now, I might want to shorten this link. Note that we allow 255 characters and this link is going to be taking up a lot of those characters. So if I want to add a little note like, check out our new blog article that limits my characters. So what I probably want to do before I paste into the exchange is shorten this link. You can use a link shortener like bit.ly. Go to bit.ly.com or bit.ly, you'll find it. You paste in the really long link like this and copy it. It creates a shortened version of that link. Now you take that link, which is still linked to your longer link that will give you the code that you want. You paste that in here. There it is. Now I have only 21 characters used and I can say check us out. And of course, add a real note here. Now, if I want to post this exact same article in several locations, then all I have to do is change the source. So let's change it to linked, whoops, linked in. Now look down here, you can see that the source is changed from exchange to LinkedIn. Copy this and post that on whatever website I want, and I go through all the places I want to post. Now I want to change this to Twitter, and notice that that changes that there. So you can change this for every referring site that you have, and be able to track which site is giving you the most engaged traffic. If you are uh, posting several ads in several areas, uh, you're using a site that has ads, you'll want to differentiate the code given the uh, ad image that they're clicking on. Every time someone clicks on the link here, it's going to record this into my Google Analytics campaign under acquisitions. I am in the CSIA Control Sys website. I've gone to acquisition, campaigns, and all campaigns. These particular instances are times where I created a special URL with UTM code to define which was a successful post. We've also done some emails and some push notifications. We did a, a webinar uh, notification and I used this special code. And so what this tells me, what the bounce rates were on, this, on these particular campaigns, how much traffic I received, how many clicks I received. So what you're doing is you are forcing Google to put the data into your campaigns section. This is saying, hey, I'm getting referral traffic from these particular sources. That's a great way to ensure that Google is telling you the truth. Good luck. If you want to take your clients from I've never heard of you to your name sounds familiar, List your company free on the Industrial Automation Exchange at csiaexchange.com and don't forget to subscribe to the CSIA YouTube channel for more updates, news, and inbound marketing tips like this.